Alright then guys, welcome to episode 2. Yeah, because I pressed R to record it brings up my radio. Okay then guys, yeah, episode 2 here. Um, as you remember in episode 1 we went from London to Cardiff. Well, I have just picked a route. We are going from Cardiff over to London. It'll be a nice little drive, interesting drive like. So, we will get in the game. Let's go and get in the truck and let's get going. Time to get the job done. Turn right. So yeah, at the moment we are doing quick jobs because we don't take the first exit. We don't actually own our own truck yet. That will be coming in the next few episodes. I believe we've got what eight thousand in the bank. Yeah, we've got 8,027 euros in the bank. So we're going to need to build some more money before we can actually do anything. As I said, guys, I still don't have any idea what I'm going to call this series. If you have an idea for it, leave it in the uh, comments below. I will read the comments and we will pick one. And I have a new email. Yay! It's been a long time since restarted ETS 2 from scratch so yeah this should be interesting as I said guys the mods that I'm using is the Hellman's Root Advisory and Pro Mods I just love the Pro Mods map it is really really well done and i have everything turned on fines and everything by so watching my speed We can speed up a bit. Right. Looks like we're going to be doing a nighttime trip on this one. The in game at the moment it's uh, seven, just gone seven o'clock at night.
Let's go up to speed and put that cruise control on. Normally I'll go up to about well, it's 60 miles an hour, so around about 55 miles an hour I'll drive that. That's so if we go downhill, we've got that 5 mile an hour to play with. Don't think this truck has a retarder. We're up to speed. Cruise control is on. Now we just sit back in there. Just travel to London. Not too far, it's only 175 miles. straight on. And it actually feels weird driving this side. Because on the other profile I drive on the other side. Me driving with steering wheel is the other side of the truck. On the air. Uh, that hand side, not on the right. Locked that speed in a four six because drop down to fifty mile an hour limit. Uh, make the cruise back to fifty five. back in England. For those of you wondering why I'm using as in play with I am using the Xbox One controller and um, my steering wheel is broken at the moment so I'm stuck using controllers I actually miss my steering wheel So much more fun using a steering wheel. Go straight on. There's another one you can comment down below what you use. Uh, if you use steering wheel or like me, a controller or are you on your do you use your keyboard? I used to but since I started using the controllers and then wheels, I can't do it on keyboard no more. I'm all over the place. Well, we are due to get to London for 20 past 11 at night, game time. <clears throat> I 
this is actually not too bad. I do need to still go through all my options and everything and reset up my key bindings on my controller. It obviously start a new profile to reset them all. But I'll get them all so eventually. Also guys, if you would like to see me when I do my live streaming, you can join me over at uh, Twitch TV, twitch.tv forward slash UK. I do a lot of I train simulator and uh, other games over there. House flipper and that. Uh, if you'd like to catch any of them live streams, you're more than welcome to come join me. Things thing with ETS to your truck simulator, it's a really good simulator. But there's little aspects here and there that they could have added in. For instance slip streaming with other trucks. Now this is coming from someone who used to drive trucks. If you get behind a truck in another large vehicle, it doesn't work in cars. But if you get behind a truck and you follow that truck for a bit, it will create what's called a slipstream and you would save fuel. But they don't have that implemented in the game. So whether you're behind a truck slipstream and like you would in real life or not, it doesn't matter, you still use the same amount of fuel. I know a lot of people have also said, oh we'd like to get be able to get out and walk around. To me I'm not bothered about that. I 
That was an interesting one, that car, the way that car decided it was coming out. And I think this car's going to do exactly the same. I was right. <laughs> 